It was Ellie's second anniversary, and her husband sent her flowers at the office. When he placed the order, he told the flowers to write, Happy anniversary, year number two. He chose this word, Happy anniversary, year number two. Alice was delighted, uh, delighted when the flowers arrived, but her joy was heavily clouded when the note what she read is this Happy anniversary, you are number two. <laughs> <laughs> the choice of words affect us greatly. So we should always think before we speak or write because the choice of words can make a lot of difference as well. Life is not continuous or continual uh, patterns, choices. At times, we have a lot of problems that needs strength from God, and it's not easy. But we have to uh, look at what we have and make the best of it. As I say, they say, better to light a candle then you curse the darkness. So when in life you have uh, make wrong choices, don't remain in the choice. Free and keep the word of God. We have to understand when we acquire knowledge, it is your choice. But many people influence you. It can be your parents, it can be your teachers, it can be your friends, it can be the crowd, not many make the choice. It can be the news that you read. So if you want to make wise choices so that you have the right actions, make sure seek wisdom from God first, then only from others. When we get confused, and that's why you understand there are people who choose to please man and God. Wrong choice. That's why people choose to listen to the preacher rather than the message. It's wrong choice. It's, that's the reason why people keep the preachers rather than God's word. That's why people go to different churches. When you have wisdom from God, then you can choose Right. Importantly is there are some choices that really affect you. Firstly, believe in God first. Then where you stay, your career, your spouse, your friends. You do not need to always go through life by trying error because there are others who make mistakes. <laughs> Learn from them. Keep God the wise. The examples that lots and debits and make, I hope that it really teach us the importance of making wise choices. So that indeed it will serve as warning that we will not uh, make decisions like him. For those who are not Christians, have you made the most important decisions? Have you decided? Where you will be eternally. Have you made the decision to follow Jesus our Lord and Savior? And for us Christians, the book of Revelation chapter 17, verse 14. The book of Revelation chapter 17, verse 14 tells us, For it is Lord of Lords and kings of kings, and those who are with him are called, chosen, and faithful. Do remain to be faithful and be the chosen. May your choice be the right one in God that you all along. Shall we all stand and sing a song in Irishman, I'm the Lord.